In this video, I want to show you how to add a listing to Easy Property Listings. Once you've logged into your administrator dashboard of your WordPress website, press the Property tab on the left, and there's going to be a list of all your listings that are currently active and what status they are displayed to you. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see a quick glance of what the current prices are, which ones are sold, which ones are currently active, and these are all the ones that are for sale. All your rentals will be stored in the rentals and land in the land, and it's quite self-explanatory that way, but they all add and work the same way when adding a new property to your website. So press add new to add a new listing, and it works just like your WordPress posts do. So to add a listing, the first thing we want to do is set the title. Now the title, the way WordPress works, it's best to use the property address because that won't change. And it won't, you won't end up with some permalink issues that WordPress tends to have sometimes. So let's just put in this property for an example as 9 Ashmore Way Sorrento. Okay, 6020. This is also good for your SEO because you have a good title here. So it's got the property location, uh, the street name, and so on. So it'll improve your Google search results. In the content box, we're going to just paste in some text that we have that I've got saved here in my box. So I'm just going to paste that in there. So there's your text, free form as per WordPress. Uh, so anything you put in here will display on your front end. We're going to add the suburb, uh, which can be customized to a city or location that you're working from. Uh, so in this case, Sorrento. And you can also use the choose the most used suburbs and pick one from the le uh, list. So press add. Uh, the excerpt is if your theme supports it, you can customize the first bunch of words that appear. Uh, we're going to scroll down. I'm going to be the author, but this is where you would choose the particular real estate agent with an account on your website to select from. Um, but we're going to put in the property details next. So I'm going to display the address, yes please. Uh, put the street number 12, Ashmore Way, Sorrento. Uh, two zero, and we're going to generate the coordinates by pressing the little coordinates generation button and it should give us a display on a map of where the property is and that's correct uh, the title this is the heading this is the actual text heading that will appear with your listing uh, so I'm going to put in the t heading that we have there these listing agents some of these details come through from REA XML feeds when imported so some of them are are required and some of them are not but if you have a second agent particularly dealing with this property you'd put their user ID name in there uh, usually with a, a hyphen so you could try a Barrett and but they must have an account in WordPress in order for them to display uh, next we're going to choose the property status so this is a current property the authority of this particular listing is an exclusive, it's not an auction. Uh, it's a, you can choose the house category of the pre-select choice. You can also change that through functions and shortcodes if you require additional types. And we're not going to use any office IDs or unique IDs in this particular case. Uh, I'm going to just have the, an open time, so open Saturday and Sunday to Two, three or two forty-five. Uh, next, we're going to scroll down and set up the features. So it's this one's a five-bedroom, three-bathroom house. Uh, we've got a four-car garage, and the land area is eight hundred and seventy-five square meters. Additional features, um, if you're, are, are good for importing, but you can tick through these, or you can use the taxonomy for additional features, which I prefer. Um, so you might go like it's got an outdoor entertaining, entertaining, area. It's got a air conditioning. and add it as you would with taxonomies or tags with your WordPress posts. Um, and you can also use choose from the most features. So we can say, okay, it's yep, lots of windows, 
um, close to a school and you're pretty much finished there once you've added all your settings scroll down if you have an external a URL for a, a YouTube U video you could pop the URL for the YouTube video in there for example just go pop over to YouTube let's say we found a, a property a, a property video here for sale search for something there we go we'll try this one and what you would do is select the URL the YouTube the raw URL from YouTube copy that at the top and we can paste that in the video URL box uh, these can be links to other floor plans if you want to include them there as well uh, the last part of the equation we want to deal with is the price so let's say this one is 1.5 million uh, we're gonna say from one from one five this takes any text uh, if you leave this blank that will be displayed formatted correctly in your currency uh, if it's always good to have a search price because that's how people can search but if you want to have say offers from you put your search price 1.5 and you can say from 1.5 or 1.5 plus or however you decide to do it and make sure you display the price and that's pretty much it except for the images so the last step is to set a featured image and we can also upload and import all the images at the same time there's two ways to do this as there is with every WordPress installation but uh, let's just set the featured image as one way and we'll do the uploads the other way so we're gonna choose my images I've already got them prepared prepared here I'm gonna drag it in I'm gonna set this one as the featured image and next because I've got the site set up to display the attached images automatically we're gonna click in the content editor area press the add media button and drag drag and drop the rest of the images into the image section and these will automatically display because that's how I've currently set up the settings with easy property listings so once these are uploaded which takes about a minute depending on how many you have and how big they are we don't actually need to insert them we just need to add the media so once that's completed you can just close the box Uh, that's done now so I'm going to close and I'm going to publish this listing and we should now have the listing and the photos and the text and everything set up so I've published that let's just view the listing with the view listing button and here we go so we've got 12 Ashmore way I've uploaded a, a portrait image in this particular case which we can go back and change later or recrop using the WordPress tools um, there's our property details and property price and home open times we've got our title uh, our text we've got our videos appeared in there we've got the author profile box on the right because I've configured the widgets for that to happen in this particular case here's our property features the three beds four baths the, our taxonomy or our additional features appear here which can be clicked on and searched by your users and there's all our attached images that have appeared or have been attached to this listing uh, and they pop up nicely there we've got our our map has appeared with the listing coordinates so people can zoom in and have a look around and our author bio which has been filled in with our bio text and some information and people can comment and that's how you add a listing to easy property list listings hope this video has helped and uh, look forward to making some more